Hello there and welcome to DeerHunter.net What we've got here is the Tempest Anorak Now this is not to be confused with the Tempest Jacket That is a separate garment which you'll find a video review on as well <coughs> Sorry, this is my son's This is probably his favourite shooting smock It's, I don't know why they call it an Anorak, it's more of a smock It's uh, the... It's a pull over the head, zip comes down to mid chest, and that's where it stops. I know everybody has personal preferences. He loves this to bits for rifle shooting, and it's probably the one that he uses 99% of the time. Right, um, the material, right, this is something I've got to say, right, I'll say it's about every Deer Hunter product that I've reviewed. I've never come across this with shooting clothing, but what I will say is it's probably about the best material I've encountered. The reason being is, number one, it's silent. You know, it, it just doesn't make a noise right, when you're moving around, right? which is obviously something that we all want. We shoot all sorts of disciplines, shotgun, air rifle, full and small bore, 99% right? um, of it's rough shooting. So, you know, in, in good quality clothing is important. It's important to all of us. If you wasn't looking for that, you wouldn't be watching this video now. I've tried over the years, which is nearly 40 years of shooting, the, I've tried pretty much every major or minor brand that there is. And I've got to say, it's the old, old story, you know, you get good in one and not so good in another, but if you could muster them all together, right, you'd make the perfect garment. Well, I think Deer Hunter have pretty much done that. <coughs> Sorry. You can tell with every single Deer Hunter product that you use, it's been put together and finalised with an awful lot of interaction with shooters. Because everything about it, everything's sort of perfectly placed and well thought out, right? And I don't want to waffle too much about this because you'll be able to see this as you go along. But the, the, the garment itself, um, on the inside of this outer uh, fabric you have what they call a Deatex membrane. Now if you're not familiar with Deatex membrane, which you might not be, um, it's basically Deatex's, uh, Deer Hunter's version of Gore-Tex. Now having owning, uh, I, I own a couple of top end Gore-Tex jackets and in my opinion the Deatex is as breathable and as waterproof as Gore-Tex. Now I've never had a deer, a, a deer Hunter garment leak at all. The same as I've never had a Gore-Tex garment leak. So, you know, at the end of the day, right, 10 out of 10 for, for actual material selection from Deer Hunter, right? Love it the bits. Let's just take a good look round the, round the anorak. Right, on the sleeves, we've got neoprene cuffs that give a fair bit of give there. You've got Velcro adjusters, right, which will allow you to bring, it down, bring the, the cuff diameter down and keep all that wonderful weather out that we encounter here in the UK. Um, all of the zippers on this, they're all made by YKK, I believe, and they are waterproof, and I mean proper waterproof zips. <coughs> Sorry. The jacket, um, the recon jacket that I use most, has got waterproof zips. As I said in the, the review to that, I went out and it really turned very nasty. And I got my nice new mobile phone tucked away in a pocket and I was sweating profusely, right, wondering whether it was going to survive the, the, the trip out. And yes, it did. No problem at all. No leaks whatsoever. But working away from the top to the bottom, up the top here on your left shoulder, you have a radio pocket. Right, most of the organised shoots that are going out, even when I'm shooting just my son and myself, um, we are always in radio contact. Um, each of the zippers, they have what I like to call a zipper garage. I don't know if you can see that. It just covers up the zip when it gets up the top. Stops the zip flapping around it. Also, just covers that tiny little hole that you get in a zip when it's completely done up. Right, so just these nice little touches that are keeping the wet weather out. We've got two hand warmer pockets, right, which are rather nice. They're separate pockets, so it's not like one big tube going through. You've got a kangaroo pocket on the front here, absolutely ideal for binoculars, um, spare magazines, 
cartridges, whatever you want to put in there, right? And that actually comes down to here, right? So it's going right up past my watch. So it's, it's a fair old size pocket there, you know, you can get, get quite a bit in there, right? And again, on these zips, you've got the covers as well when the zips are done up. Um, you've got a waist adjuster with a shock cord adjustment on it okay which does up and these these adjusters they really do grip very well there's no creeping in those whatsoever and bearing in mind that this is a smock you have a side zip here again it's waterproof right that does up or sorry undoes and allows you that extra bit of ease of access right into the into the garment right again nice brushed finish on the inside Right, um, let's just flip it over. <coughs> Sorry. Well, there's no pockets on the back, but you have got a nice big purpose built hood. Right, the hood itself is plenty big enough. Nice volume adjuster on there as well, which runs up through the sides here. Right, yeah, uh, and it, it does work extremely nicely. Let's just spin it round. Right, and as you'll see, it's detachable. It's zip on, zip off. Right, and once you've got the smock on, if you need to, you can do that up. And you've got a nice cover there, right, to stop the the zip chafing against your neck or your chin. Storm flap over the top of that zip. That zip's not waterproof, but it doesn't need to be as a storm flap. And there's your hood and once you've got all of this done up right and the hood cinch down to exactly where you want it because you've got your volume adjuster on the back you've also got the ability to cinch down the opening um you're as snug as a bug in a rug right it works really well right it's absolutely perfect if you don't want the hood on there like i say you can unzip it <coughs> right um you can leave it in your bag or what have you in your car right it's entirely up to you but one thing i'm going to say that i absolutely love about these jackets now they don't have them on all deer hunter jackets if it's important to you please make sure that you inquire that what you're going to order does that is on the top of each shoulder you have this pimply rubberized strip now if you carry a gun that's on both shoulders if you carry a gun on a sling if at the end of the day you've got your, your bag, right, anything at all that's on a sling over your shoulder, if you're anything like me, you hate it slipping off. Those rubberized patches, if you're watching this deer hunter, please put them on every jacket. They are brilliant. I love them. My son loves them. It was such a joy. Right, in fact, I got the Tempest jacket and because of that, he got the Tempest smock. Because of these. Right, it's as simple as that. <coughs> he prefers the smock over the jacket on the other way round. Right, um, it's just horses of courses and personal preference. Um, washing. We've used all of this equipment that you see, all the clothing, has all been used over a good number of months. It's been used in all sorts of weather conditions. Right, both good and extremely bad. Um, Everything has landed up with blood on it at some point, and obviously it's important that we can wash whatever garments we're wearing. Um, 30 degree machine wash, absolutely perfect. It does say wash separately. We have, I've washed it with something else as well actually, it didn't cause any problems, but that was just me. Don't try it, don't come back at me saying your best undies are, are dyed green or whatever. <coughs> um, but they wash well. You don't iron them, you don't tumble dry them, you room dry, or better still if you can get them out on a washing line, because everything smells that much better. Um, and they're ready to go again. Right, I've had no staining problems at all. They don't need ironing, although I don't know anybody that washes, uh, sorry, that irons their shooting clothing. In fact, I know a couple of people that don't wash their shooting clothing, but that's another story. Um, you know, overall, absolutely brilliant. Right, can't fault them at all. 
As far as the channel goes, please hit the subscribe button. Now, the only reason for that is, is that there's going to be other videos on Deer Hunter products. And if you've subscribed, you will find that you will get the email update straight away down the left-hand side of your screen. If you don't subscribe, you'll find them when you pop onto this channel now and again. It's entirely up to you. But most important of all, I can't cover every single aspect and answer every person's question with a review. Now, no doubt some of you could have additional questions to what areas that I've covered on this. Please feel free to ask. I'll get back to you as soon as humanly possible. If I don't know the answer, I will find someone that does. Most important of all, when you get round to placing your order on DeerHunter.net, when it comes down to actually the order page, right, where you, you finalise everything and you've got your shipping details and so forth in there, you'll find that there's a little panel there where you can put in additional information. Now, one thing we did find, and I don't think it applies to every single Deer Hunter garment, I found that the sizing that you actually look at in the catalogue isn't exactly what it responds to. Uh, sorry, it doesn't exactly give you the, the that exact um, measurement in the garment itself. <clears throat> so after having a chat with DeerHunter.net, right, we agreed that it would be a good point for me to actually put in there. Right, please put down your actual sizes. Right, you know the your chest measurement. Right, if you need it for a jumper, right underneath it. Put it down a bit bigger. But if you've got the actual sizes in that box, you will ensure that you get the correct size product when it falls at your doorstep. Any questions, please let me have them. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.